Whoever sees this and subscribes right now, get a free reusable bag. Save the environment, kids. What's going on, YouTube? It's Noxo, and we're back for our reaction series. So today, today, man, it is Monday, aka the day of metal. Metal Mondays is back, and we have a band that we've been diving into the dark and twisted realm of. I'm talking about Slipknot, and this has been highly, highly requested from you guys in the comment section, so it's none other than Psychosocial. But before getting further, I want to give a quick shout out to the Patreon. Listen, guys, a lot of these reactions I cannot monetize. A great way to support the channel directly and the content that I put out is by joining the Patreon. I give you more reactions, more exclusive content on there. It's a great community, great family. If you want to support, I'll put the links to it below. But anyways, anyways, you know what we're here for. Corey Taylor, Slipknot, sub up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Will that say all hope is gone? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Like skipping through a merry-go-round. What the f are those things? Children of the corn? Ran into Stonehenge and had babies? I don't know. Nice. Wow. I, I love the mass. Like, I feel like Halloween should be allowed to happen year round. And I'm pretty sure I saw the drummer just take like voodoo dolls and like pins to a whole new level. And I like it. And there's a face burning on fire again, like. This is like the stuff that children's dreams are made out of right here. Saw ain't got shit on Slipknot. I did my time. I want out. The effusive? Fading? I mean, who, who puts effusive into your lyricism? Like, the dude just opens up Merriam-Webster's dictionary, and he's obviously a very intelligent cat in the way that he thinks about stuff and, and puts these lines together. Like, so you're effusive. You're like over the top, right? You're giving an, an emotive speech, right? Effusive with it. And yet it fades. And then what does he say? Man, I got to really cue in again. <laughs> So like all these over the top deliveries and how we are, these impassioned pleas, they're not really cutting. And he did his time and he wants out. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what he's setting up here. He just say pseudo sacrosanct perversion. Wow. Again. How you doing, dictionary.com? So pseudo, so it's fake, it's artificial, right? Sacrosanct, something like we hold as holy, something that you know you can't touch, whether it's inalienable right or if it relates to religion, maybe hold, holding Sunday as a very sacrosanct day. You know, we don't work on Sundays. We don't open. So pseudo means taking these things, these societal sacrosanct things, whether it's a commentary on religion or, or other parts of society that people hold sacrosanct, but it's really fake. It's pseudo. It's artificial. Wow, that's a heavy line. And then I think before that, didn't he say like packaging perversion or subversion? Oh, the dude with like the pinhead is not the drummer. He's over there, I think on a keyboard, doing something. There's a lot of fire happening too. Fire's fun. Yeah, it was packaging subversion. So now we're packaging these subversive subconscious lies to you? What are we going on here? What are we going in on? Greater societal commentary, right? How, how they lead you with these different laws, these different things. They appeal to your emotions. But really, they're packaging lies underneath of it. They're packaging their own subversive motives and what they want to train you to follow and to do. Your name, I got 
Holy shit. Go drill your dead. Yeah, so now we're really going in. So we set up like the background, right? And we start critiquing. And then he's letting us know who the target is. Y you know, you want to go drill in the deserts? What are you going to do? You're going to go chase oil? You could take that win of this drop. 13 years ago, Iraq war could be commenting on. And Corey Taylor's view that that war was really about natural resources, going to drill the deserts. <sighs> Digging your graves because we're going to war. All the bodies that have been piled up. But really, at the end of it all, it's all for money that we're filling our mouths with. These corrupt politicians. What was that a dead thing of? A, rac a dead raccoon? Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, normally the rain is healthy and, and beautiful, you know, it, it gives life and H2O and water. But in this case, I never thought about the rain in that way. I'm not going outside without an umbrella again. Wow, no one else can see the preservation of the martyr in me. I feel like I'm the only one here. The only one speaking out against these things. The only one that sees the truth for how it is. And you can take the rain will kill us all. Like they're polluting our skies. They're polluting our world. And eventually it is going to kill us all. And then again, remember how he talked about like these uh, pseudo sacrosanct sort of things that we hold and how we're subversing lies. So in this case, something that a lot of people will accept like the rain. The rain is good. Rain is water. Thumbs up. But what he's doing, again, he's taking something that we're trained and taught to accept in a certain way, and he's got this underneath layer that he wants you to think about. Like, question everything. And he feels like a martyr because he just feels so alone, and he's going to keep going until his death, and he is martyred for this. This is, this is deep as shit. What is that haunting? Like that higher pitch grating off to the side of the mix. That's a hell of a shot right there. There's some really cool scenes. Again, fire. So much fun. Don't play with it at home, kids. Psychosocial. Psychosocial. That's a, another fucking dictionary term today. So what is that? Psycho, like uh, affecting your mental right? Affecting your own psychology, but social in this case. So compound them, put them together. If you think about like societal social factors that affect you, your mental health, how you are. So again, there's a greater statement here. I take it as like this overbearing weight of society, these lies that they force feed us, that they package us while these politicians are off running, doing things like wearing down our natural resources, gradually destroying our world and our earth. The rain will kill us one day, but it's all for greed. It's all for money. And it's affecting me. It's wearing on my mental. It's wearing on who I am. Hence the psychosocial that is just being screamed so beautifully as it's rammed down your throat. Where the temple fell, there are cracks on the road we lay, right? The holy temple. So you could be critiquing religion again with some of the choices that he's used with his words and his metaphors. Because again, you, you could take this and interpret it in so many ways. Or just like these temples as in like these institutions, these governments, the way that things are that we hold as sacrosanct. But there are cracks and he is revealing them to us. Oh, he just went gladiator on us right there. Are you alive? Nope, we're going to put you down that way. And again, venomous, insipid, like those lines, look into his eyes. Like, I, I think we're done here. I can't take this anymore. But I take the venomous and the insipid as his comment 
on society and on what he sees, not on themselves. But maybe that venom is now seeping into him and how he feels because he can't take this toxicity anymore. I didn't catch that line before. Throw ourselves against the wall. It could be like the proverbial wall that we built and, you know, we're slamming ourselves into the wall now, but it could also take it as like break down these institutions, break down these boundaries and these barriers that are placed before us in society. Or you're just in like a mental asylum. You're just bashing your head against a wall. Oh. That's dirty. Wow. Some cool shots, man, playing with, you know, the ultimate like slow mo and sort of those like epic hero style shots, but. I mean, this is really taking having a bonfire with your friends to the next level. Oh, switch up. I like this breakdown. The limits of the dead? Yeah, there's there's definitely some limits to it. To being dead. Wow. See the eyes glow red there? Hang on. Yeah, he did say, he said fake anti-fascist lies. So we're going into, you know, we're fighting fascism. But you could take that as like the United States and our history. Like we, we fought the fascists. We fought Hitler in Germany. But what I take that as he's saying is that we're really the fake ones. Like we're, we're promoting this anti-fascism. We position ourselves as, you know, the doers of good throughout world history. But really... There's a darker, corruptive thing underneath of it all. And there's some shadows to that. And then your purple hearts are giving out, which again, we talked about the Iraq war earlier and like the war for natural resources and playing off of that. So that ties in with like giving a soldier a purple heart, right? And that whole tie in is war and our bloody history and our bloody past. And maybe instead of looking at you know, only the Nazis are the enemy. Maybe our own government is an enemy to ourselves or the society in which we operate is a greater enemy to this day. And there's a lot of hypocrisy going on within it. Man, this is... I mean, that just... Listen, this is, this is beautiful right here. Like... If you have a headache, I feel like all you have to do is just put this mask on and it just takes acupuncture to a whole new level. Am I really going frame by frame? There it is. I mean, look at that. Oh, wow. And the needles like wave, wave in the winds of the fire. It's like a unicorn just like running through a purple field and his mane just so beautiful and elegant as it waves around. That's the exact same thought that I have is looking at that. Nice. Oh my God. And that's why we have the fire. The rain will kill us all. You know, what's the opposite of rain and water? Fire. Oh. 
Nice. Gotta love this Thrasher Metal Man. Wow. I mean, what an adrenaline pumping rush, whether it was from the percussion and then some of the higher cymbal crashes there, the just frantic nature of the guitar. And what was funny to me was that he he treated the verses, you know, yelling, like very in your face, raw. And he got a lot smoother on the chorus, but... The chorus was even darker to me than the verses. It's almost like a false sense of security when he's talking about like the rain will kill us all and he's singing it like so smoothly versus the way that he attacked and was so biting with that delivery of each verse. But I do love that sort of contrast, that juxtaposition, like very cool musicality. Like if you do a verse a certain way, he's got the ability to totally change up his cadence, his delivery style and what he's doing with the chorus and then come out of that back into the verse and then come out of that with a different type of bridge and vibe. And man, you you really, really got to have big brain energy when you start looking into these lyrics. I mean, there are some crazy metaphors, some allegories happening that the depth, the, the choice of lyricism involved in this, the biting critique of society in general, how it affects him, how it's weighing on his mental, the title of the song itself, Psychosocial. I mean, that was, I think that's my favorite Slipknot shot. Yeah, I can't even talk anymore because he's fried my brain. That was my favorite Slipknot song so far. You were not so certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen here at the end. Obviously, enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor, guys. A lot goes into these reactions. Subscribe, notifications on. Help me out. Help me grow. Comment what else we should do on this journey. I love you. Stay safe. Stay positive. It's the one and only Knoxville. I'll catch you again.